Sticking on our theme of survival and being able to get water, today's challenge is we are going to have a container full of water, some salt, and what we're going to do is think about some of the concepts that we've learned about condensation and evaporation and be able to solve a problem. We are going to add the salt to the salt water, make it a really salty salt water. Spoon. One, two, stir it up so all the salt mixes through. The salt is now dissolved into the water and it's turned into salt water. What we need to do is to be able to get the salt out of the water so we have fresh water remaining. Now this is a challenge. What I'm going to do is give you the equipment that you are allowed. We have salt water. You are allowed a small bowl, a big bowl, some cling film or a plastic sheet, and a rock or some heavy object. Those are the things that you are allowed. What I want you to do during this session is to be able to think and solve this problem by yourself. Think about the concepts of condensation and evaporation. How can I get the salt out of the water or the water away from the salt? I am doing this in a sunny environment where the heat is quite substantial, it's quite hot. That is a big clue to be able to do this, is that you need to be able to do it in a sunny environment. What we're gonna do is we are going to stop the video in a minute or pause the video, you're gonna go away and have a go on your own, and then you're gonna come back and watch the second part of the video where we show how I've done it. Okay, those are the rules, simple. I look forward to seeing your answers. Hello everyone and welcome back. So this is how I did it and I am going to get the salt out of the salt water to give me fresh drinking water. Now think about where you might be able to use this problem solving technique. So maybe if we're stuck on a raft in the middle of the sea, this can be a technique used to be able to get fresh water. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to take my salt water. Let me just make sure. Oh yeah, that's very salty. I'm going to take this salt water and I'm going to pour it into my bowl. The second thing I'm going to do is to take my second bowl and I'm going to place it in the middle. As you can tell, my second bowl is drifting around. So I need something to weigh it down with. I've managed to find a pebble and I'm gonna weigh my second bowl down with the pebble. It's still moving, so maybe I need a little bit more weight. There we go. So once I have my bowl and my rocks and my bigger bowl and the salt water, the next thing I want to think about is the evaporation and the condensation. So my plan is that if I put this in the sun, what will happen is the water will evaporate and it'll just leave the salt underneath. But I need to be able to catch that water. So what I need to do is to cover my bowl with some sort of plastic that will catch the water and stop it leaving the bowl. Then once the water rests onto the plastic, it'll condense and then drip down into the inner bowl where I will get fresh clean water. So for this one, I'm going to use cling film, but you can use any form of plastic. Maybe you want to try out with different types of plastic. Which one works best? Maybe it's a piece of tarp. It needs to be a waterproof material that allows heat to transfer, transform through it. So I'm gonna take my cling film and I'm gonna start by covering See, it's coming off, so I'm just gonna 
get a little bit and tape around the edges to make sure that my bowl is going to be airtight. As we can see now that my bowl is airtight and has the plastic sheet over the top. But if we think the water is going to evaporate up, hit the, the plastic sheet in, condense, and then just fall back in. Now, what I need to do is to be able to make sure that the water falls back into the bowl in the center, not just back into the salty water where it'll mix back. This way, when the water evaporates, it'll hit the plastic, condense, and run down, collect here, and drop into my bowl. That is how I have solved the problem, guys. I'm looking forward to see if you solve the problem in the same way, or maybe you came up with a different way to be able to solve this problem. The water will take at least a day to be able to evaporate and condense. So maybe leave this experiment for two or three days and see if you can get all of the water evaporated and condensed. I look forward to seeing all of your work. Thank you very much.